This is Michael. He's 35. He likes watching Match of the Day. He loves spaghetti bolognese and he's worried about getting bored. He's a normal bloke. Oh, and he's about to be let out of prison. Now who's waiting to meet him at the gates? This is the angry mob. They definitely don't like the idea that Michael is being let out of prison. And as we will see, they don't like much at all. Like most prisoners, Michael leaves with very little money and even fewer opportunities. In some cases, prisoners may receive a small discharge grant. But in reality, it's not enough to live on. Michael's first benefit claim could take a month to process and it will take a few weeks for any housing help to be sorted out. So what cash he does have in his pockets needs to go a long way. So what is Michael supposed to do? Well, that would be a nice easy solution. After all, Michael isn't lazy. In fact, he'd love to have a job, but without an address and the fact he's just come out of prison makes this almost impossible. So what else should he do? his family's life has moved on whilst he was on the inside and now his ex and her newly acquired dog don't really want to know him anymore. Michael's friends would love to see him but they were part of his problems in the first place. So with no money and no real support he'll quickly return to his old ways. This is the cycle of offending and according to government figures over 55% of all prisoners end up re-offending. This number is even higher for young offenders. For a start, prison numbers are at an all-time high. Helping people not to re-offend can only help reduce this figure. It costs around £164,000 to convict and keep someone in prison for a year. That's £164,000 of the taxpayer's money. Your money. In fact, the cost of re-offending in the UK is an estimated £11 billion a year. That's the equivalent of paying for around 44,000 new nurses and teachers each and every year. Or to put it another way, the government could just give every single person living in Tunbridge Wells £183,333.33. We have to help break this cycle of offending. So let's go back to where we started, outside the prison gates. Meet Jimmy. Jimmy is a peer advisor with the St Giles Trust Straight to Work project. St Giles have been giving Michael advice and guidance for the last six months and now that he has been released, Jimmy is on hand to help him with his housing, his benefits and more importantly to help him find a job and keep it. Fortunately, Jimmy really understands the challenges that Michael is about to face, especially in these crucial early days of his release because Jimmy is also an ex-offender. When he was on the inside, Jimmy was also helped by St Giles Trust, and rather than wasting his prison sentence, he successfully gained an MVQ free in advice and guidance. This qualification has made him highly employable, and now he uses his skills and experience to help others. With the help of people like Jimmy, St Giles are providing award-winning peer-led services in prisons and the wider community that will break the cycle of offending. Many of the people that St Giles Trust have helped are employed in areas helping others in society, while some have gone on to work for a number of the largest employers in the UK. The Straight to Work project is already making a real difference and in the process is saving taxpayers millions of pounds. The St Giles Trust help and support over 15,000 people like Michael in this way each year. They also run other community projects that are designed to give disadvantaged people control of their own lives. Unlike the angry mob, the St Giles Trust believe that by seeing beyond stereotypes and labels and with the right support and opportunities, people have the power to change. Doesn't everyone deserve a second chance? <laughs>